my name is Monier from flipnormals.com and in this quick little video I'm just gonna introduce you to the alternate smoothing inside of ZBrush. So everyone is probably familiar with the standard smoothing where you're, which is where you hold down shift and you just go over your object like this which works fine for for most cases. Uh, the alternate smoothing is um, in my opinion a less destructive version of, of the smoothing. It's a, it's a lot more subtle and a lot more soft. Um, and uh, to help me illustrate this, I've I've made my my trusty tutorial sphere, um, and <laughs> it has a great material on it. Um, the reason I've chosen this material is just to illustrate my point a little better. Uh, so I just want to show you a, f a few of the differences between the smoothing and the alternate smoothing. So if we start over here, um, if I were to use the regular smooth on on this area, uh, this is what would happen. So let's just move this. So as you can see, um, it sort of pushes in the surface. So it tries to it tries to average all the all the vertices and and push everything inwards, which is fine for for most cases. Um, now the way to do the alternate smoothing is you hold down Shift, you start smoothing, and you let go of Shift. Um, so one more time, hold down Shift, start smoothing, let go of Shift that sort of switches into alternate smoothing mode. Um, and the great thing about this is, uh, let's just do it properly. So hold on shift, smooth, let go shift. Like now you see we keep the curvature of the object and we got a lot more smooth object out of it. Um, if we take a look at this area over here, there's another thing I want to show you. So. If you just hold on shift to smooth, and you just start smoothing your object right, like this, you can see this is kind of what it does. It starts to pull and push on the vertices and you end up with this sort of halo around your object. I mean, this is not very hard to get rid of you if you were just gonna smooth like this. Uh, with the alternate smoothing, however, just hold on shift, just smooth and let go of shift and we get a much nicer result. Uh, another, another really cool thing about it is if you have spikes like this. Um, this can happen when you use C remesh or DynaMesh or something like that. And usually if you wanted to smooth this out, if you go in and smooth this, you can see we just make an even, even pointier spike. However, if we use the alternate smoothing, this is the result we get, um, which makes it a lot easier to fix, uh, fix points like this. Um, and that's all, the, all there really is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.